Yo, 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 it's your boy here, Magic, with another YouTube video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the 2016 Call of Duty, yes? And I know what you guys are saying. You're like, what the fuck, Magic? Where have I been for, like, the last two fucking weeks? Blah, 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 blah. All right, I am sorry. I'm a very, very, very lazy person. So I haven't very, you know, I haven't really grinded out content. It's my bad on my end. The last video I made was a montage, a competitive montage. You guys should... Freaking check it out. I've been playing a lot of tournaments, a lot of wagers. Uh, I know you guys want to, um, sorry about that, my phone. I know you guys really want to see my, you know, tournament plays, tournament, you know, videos and stuff like that. I'm going to be posting that up pretty soon. Um, I also wage and do all that stuff, uh, stuff. Oh, I can't even talk. Um, all that kind of stuff. Um, but anyways, I want to get into this video. And this video is going to be talking about the 2016 Call of Duty. And first, I want to start off saying that. Call of Duty 2016 is going to be developed by Infinity Ward. You know, shocker. Nobody knew. I'm just kidding. Everybody knew Infinity Ward was going to do 2016 Call of Duty. Uh, from the three-year cycle goes, you know, Infinity Ward. Um, then goes Sledgehammer. And then goes Treyarch. And then we're starting again with Infinity Ward. And then next year after that would be Sledgehammer. But let's talk about it. Uh, they did tweet out earlier today on their twitter they said cod 2016 now it's official can't wait to show you what we've been developing hashtag call of duty from that tweet the first tweet that's top top tweet is call of duty modern warfare 4 and I, the thing is i really want call of duty modern warfare 4 you know um we don't know what's gonna be we don't know if it's gonna be modern warfare 4 uh ghost 2 it's gonna be a remastered and this is the video when i, I want to talk about what i think is gonna happen what the game is gonna be and so on and so forth so i've been playing cod for a very long time i think a couple years now probably since i was five ten years now pretty much yeah since i was like five six i don't know how many years in the double digits around there. I don't want to do the math. I've been playing COD since Call of Duty 3 on the PlayStation 2 and so on and so forth. Played World at War and then I played Black Ops 1 and then all that leading up. I did not play COD 4 and that's when it boomed. I I, I don't know what happened that, that year or something. I was not in the COD scene but I did come back during World at War the year after. But anyways, that's a side point. Um, number one reason uh, or what do you guys think? Uh, you know, do you do you think it's going to be MW4, Ghost 2, or Remastered? Well, honestly, I feel that it's not going to be Ghost 2. And I'm kind of shaky on it. I don't know. It might be Ghost 2 or it might be Modern Warfare 4. I'm kind of split in between the two. I don't want to say which one it is because I don't know. I honestly do not know. Um, a remastered version of COD, it's not going to happen. Uh, it's not. Activision said that they're not. You know, into remastering uh, old CODs, which is a big shame. I'm very disappointed that they're not going to remaster COD for the next generation consoles. Maybe when the old generation console servers shut down, you can no longer play them. They might do that in, in the future, but right now, Activision slowly said, we do not want to make remastered versions of the old Call of Duties, but they are doing the backwards compatibility on the Xbox One. But remastered would have been so amazing, playing COD 4, stuff like that from back in the old day. But I see kind of see where Activision is heading towards. Uh, they want to push forward. They don't want to bring the past. They want to keep innovating and pushing forward, you know, and building the franchise and what it is today. So I see what they're doing, and I respect it, but I do honestly miss the old nostalgic you know, memories of me playing BO1 or, you know, World at War and stuff like that when I was very, very young and didn't know how, you know, prestige. And that's a very embarrassing. I did not know how to prestige guys, but that's not part of this video. But anyways, um, if it was Ghost 2, it would make sense because it ended off on Ghost 1. And if you guys didn't play the campaign, the story pretty much, uh, you know, after the credit rolls, it shows, I don't know who the main character is is in a jungle or something and it ends right there so it kind of leads that there's gonna be a ghost too but then again mw4 there's a bigger people when you think about modern warfare it's 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 you think about cod you know you think about call of duty when i think about call of duty ghost i just think about big shit bag you know game some people liked it and some people don't i honestly hated it and loved it at the same time. One, I hated it because I lost a lot of friends there. A lot of friends started moving on. That's the same time when we started. I started like start to start uh, high school, 
um, my old friends from school stopped playing. They started, you know, focusing on other things, and I started focusing on competing and actually making this into a career, start making money, stuff like that. And Ghost has a mixed feelings on it. Um, Ghost is where I met, you know, where I started competitive or really started, you know, competing for playoffs and stuff like that, and also where I started to, you know no longer play pubs and not no longer play for you know fun like public matches i still have fun playing it but i, I stopped playing it you know for nuclears and for the nukes and stuff like that um honestly ghost was w- could have been a good game it would have been a good game but it was the kill streaks were bad the maps were too big um the the the, next, the old generation consoles the new generation consoles kind of fucked up how the game could have could have been you know it wasn't its full potential because the old generation consoles was still holding uh holding ghost back um ghost could have been a good game honestly the hit the reg the like the hit detection was perfect i loved it you melted people you couldn't know you didn't notice if you were on the three bar or a four bar I, the host was good you know then again you did get hosted sometimes but it wasn't as bad as you know aw and stuff like that um so honestly i don't feel like it's gonna be ghost 2 i honestly don't know maybe maybe not if they do ghost 2 it's not a very good smart idea on Activision's part of, you know, selling the game. Not many people like Ghost, so if they see Ghost 2, they might not pick up the game. Modern Warfare, on the other hand, Modern Warfare 1, which is COD 4, the most iconic game. Any pro that you talk about or, you know, talk to is going to say, oh yeah, COD 4 was when it was, you know, it's prime time and blah, 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 and this and that. You know, when you think about Modern Warfare, you think about Modern Warfare 2. You know, prime time, and you think about Modern Warfare Three, which Modern Warfare Three was kind of you know eh, because you know the studio laid off a lot of people, and Modern Warfare Three was kind of rushed. Sledgehammer helped out, you know, making M33, and so so did uh, Raven Software, and that's why M33 wasn't that great. Hence, AEW was you know that not that great because you know Sledgehammer. But anyways, um, honestly, if they do MW4, um. It might bring a lot of sales, and that's what Activision is, and that's what they want. That's what the business business is at. You know, they, they want to, you know, they want to make money. That's their end goal, right? They care about you guys, but they care about the money. That's what they do. That that's what they care about. So, MW4 has a it's a more iconic name. More m- most people like it. Most people have good memories with it. Then you know, goes to where they have very bad <laughs> memories of. But that's just me. I don't know how you guys feel about the two games. I don't know if you guys feel like Modern Warfare is going to be the title or it's going to be Ghost. Or it can be a brand new game. You don't know. It can be a brand new Call of Duty, you know, series. It can be a new, you know what? You know what I mean? It could be brand new. You don't know. They might just scrap Ghost and they might just scrap Modern Warfare and go ahead and just do, you know, a new new series, a new storyline and stuff like that. But honestly, I don't know. Um, Also, another thing I want to start talking to you guys is that on the Activision, you know, employment page, they are hiring people for in for Infinity Ward Studios uh, to know a little bit about movement, and this kind of put a red flag on my head because when I heard movement, I don't know if they're meaning just the slide or they're adding some type of exosuit or thruster, and I don't want that. Honestly, the thrusters are all right. I can deal with the thrusters. They're fine. I don't really care. I, I like the thrusters, but the jetpacks from AW were annoying. You would just spring up in the air in like 2.2 seconds, and it was just terrible. It was agony playing through games and games it's just terrible worst hit detection jumping all over the place broken hit markers i just didn't like aw i just hated the jetpacks honestly i just that's why i didn't like and ghost i liked it because it was on boots on the ground i think about it classic cod ghost and it was boots on the ground and i liked it that was pretty much where i played snd all day and that was pretty much you know prime time and i don't I don't want new movement system. You know, I don't want I don't want the game to take place in 2000 and freaking 75 in the future. Man, just make a normal Call of Duty, you know, make a normal one like from Ghost. You know, not too far in the future, you know, but kind of near the future a little bit more realistic during, you know, modern times or, you know, Black Ops 2 was fine. You know, Black Ops 3 is all right. I just don't 
once it gets pushed to a certain extent, you know, like, with the, like, fantasy, I honestly don't see it as Call of Duty anymore. I don't, and I don't like that feeling. I want boots on the ground, you know, ARs, normal gunfights, stuff like that, like MW3, MW2, Black Ops 1, you know, so on and so forth. That's what I want. I don't, I, I think I can vouch for the community that we don't want futuristic shit, you know, that's... That's why we want Modern Warfare 4. Modern Warfare. We don't want Advanced Warfare 2. We don't want Ghost 2. Maybe some of you guys do. And, you know, you might have a point. But, you know, most of us, we're burnt out of this advanced technology thing that they're doing. Honestly, I fell in love for, uh, I fell in love with COD because I, 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 you know, it felt realistic to me. You know, it was, wow, you can you can use this gun that's real and you could play like a real soldier blah 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 that and you know when I was little and now it's no longer like that it's more like oh I can I can run at 300 miles per hour with overdrive on or I can cloak and go invisible so they cannot see me and I can thrust up in the air and wall run up in the air so they can't get me and man it's fun and all it was fun in Black Ops 2 how they did the little futuristic thing but now honestly I'm getting burnt out, and I'm not sure if you guys are getting burnt out too, but I am completely burnt out of this futuristic thing, you know? Black Ops 2, amazing game. I loved it. It was new. It's something new. I loved the futuristic stuff back in Black Ops 2, you know? Ghost came out. All right. Okay game. Didn't like it as much, you know? I played S&D on it. That's why I kind of liked it, because I only played S&D and started playing GBs on it. That's why I liked it. I didn't really play pubs. Advanced Warfare came out. God, uh, all right, jetpack, something new, and then you start noticing everything that's broken with it. Boom, Black Ops Three. You look at it, and it's like, man, I just played AW before, and now it's another futuristic game. I should, I don't want to play another futuristic game. The reason I'm playing Black Ops Three is because I love Treyarch. They always make great games, and I love BO3. Trust me, don't get me wrong. I love this game. I've made money. You know, it's not all about the money, but you know, I made a lot of good money from this game. I made, and, you know, it's just. I'm passionate about this game, and honestly, I just don't want to see more futuristic games. That's personally, that's just me, you know. That's just me. I don't, I don't want to play. No, I no longer want to play something, you know, futuristic. Yeah, you can add new movement, you know, but I just want to stick on the ground. I don't want randomized movements of people flying up in the air, or you know, somebody going to the left or going to the right, and you can't predict where they're going. I don't want that, you know, and I just want how it used to be. And how, how fun it used to I want the lobbies to be filled with game volume. The party chat and the next gen. It's just garbage. I just. I'm sorry. It's going to be becoming a rant video. And I was thinking about making a rant video. But anyways. That's what I want from, uh, from the next Call of Duty 2016. I don't care if it's Modern Warfare 4. I don't care if it's Ghost 2. Or it's a new Call of Duty. I just want a COD that's no longer futuristic. That's more, you know, realistic. And fun, just how they made the other games, and that's my opinion on it, guys. I, I I am very very excited to hear your guys' opinion. I don't know what you guys want. I might be totally wrong. You guys might be totally right. Whatever you guys think, if you guys agree with me, leave it in the comment below. If you guys like this video, leave a like. Um, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And until next time, guys. I will see you guys when I see you guys. Check out my competitive montage too, by the way, guys. That, that shit is lit. Trust. Lit.